CompTIA A plus Core 1 Complete Training Course. Exam Objective 3.5. Given a scenario, install or replace the appropriate power supply. In the context of information technology, a power supply unit, or PSU, is a vital component in desktop PCs. Its job is to convert the AC, or alternating current, from a wall outlet into DC, or direct current that the computer's components can use. When you plug your PC into a wall outlet, the electricity it receives is in the form of alternating current, which fluctuates rapidly in direction and amplitude. However, the delicate circuitry inside your computer requires a steady stream of direct current to function properly. This is where the power supply unit comes in. Its primary function is to convert the incoming AC power from the wall outlet into the stable DC power needed by the computer's various components. By performing this conversion, the PSU ensures that the computer operates smoothly and reliably, powering everything from the motherboard and CPU to the graphics card and storage drives. Thus, the power supply unit is truly the lifeblood of the desktop PC, providing the electrical energy necessary for its proper functioning. Moving forward with this topic, the next term we should know is voltage. Voltage refers to the measure of electrical potential difference between two points in a circuit. To state this another way, voltage is the force or pressure that pushes electrical charges through an electrical circuit. When you plug your desktop PC into a wall outlet, it receives electrical power in the form of alternating current. This alternating current typically comes in two primary voltage standards, 120 volt alternating current, or VAC, and 240 volt alternating current. These voltage standards dictate the level of electrical pressure that flows through the wires and into your computer's PSU. Within the computer, various components require specific voltages to operate effectively. For instance, the motherboard, CPU, graphics card, and storage drives each require different levels of voltage to function optimally. Common output voltages provided by the PSU include 3.3 volts, 5 volts, and 12 volts. It is important to note, once again, that these voltages are in the form of direct current. To deliver these various output voltages, the PSU comes with various connectors, the most notable being the motherboard connector. Depending on the age of the motherboard and the PSU, we have the 20-pin, 24-pin, and 20-plus-4-pin connectors. The 20-pin connector was a standard for older motherboards, but has largely been replaced by the more robust 24-pin connector. This 24-pin connector provides additional power for modern systems with more advanced components and higher power requirements. As for the 20 plus 4 pin connector, this offers flexibility by combining the 20-pin and 24-pin configurations into a single connector. This design allows compatibility with both older and newer motherboards, ensuring seamless integration across a range of hardware configurations. Now that you understand voltage and how it is applied to power supply units, the next term you will need in your vocabulary is watt. A watt is a unit of measurement for electrical power. It indicates how much energy is used or produced per second. Furthermore, wattage, in the context of computer hardware, refers to the measure of electrical power that a power supply unit can deliver to a computer system. It's a critical specification to consider when selecting a PSU for a particular computer bill. The wattage rating of a PSU indicates its maximum power output capacity, which determines the number and type of components it can reliably power. Components such as the CPU, graphics card, storage drives, and peripherals all draw power from the PSU to operate. Therefore, it's essential to choose a PSU with an adequate wattage rating to meet the power demands of these components. When determining the appropriate wattage rating for a computer build, it's important to consider the power requirements of each component individually 
and then calculate the total power consumption. Factors such as the type and number of components, their power draw under load, and any potential future upgrades or expansions should all be taken into account. Selecting a PSU with an insufficient wattage rating can result in system instability, unexpected shutdowns, or even damage to components. Conversely, choosing a PSU with excessive wattage may lead to unnecessary expenses and inefficiencies, as the system will only draw the power it requires. Therefore, understanding wattage and accurately determining the power requirements of a computer build are essential steps in ensuring a stable and efficient system. This knowledge enables users to select an appropriate PSU that can adequately power their components while also accommodating any future upgrades or expansions. Now, given the fictional setup behind me, I have a few questions for you to ponder. What component requires the most power? What is the total wattage requirement for this system? Would a 500-watt PSU be sufficient for this build? Would a 500-watt PSU allow for future upgrades? You are welcome to leave your thoughts in the comments. Moving on with our discussion of power supplies, we now need to cover modular power supplies. Unlike traditional power supplies where all cables are permanently attached, modular power supplies feature detachable cables. This unique design allows users to connect only the cables they need for their specific configuration, leaving unused cables disconnected. As a result, modular power supplies significantly reduce cable clutter inside the computer case, creating a cleaner and more organized internal layout. This streamlined setup not only enhances the aesthetics of the build, but also improves airflow within the case, promoting better cooling performance. With modular power supplies, PC builders can easily customize their cable management to suit their preferences and optimize the airflow dynamics inside their system. Redundant power supplies is another power consideration when uninterrupted operation is paramount. Unlike traditional power supplies, which rely solely on a single unit, redundant power supplies offer a fail-safe mechanism by providing backup power in the event of a primary PSU failure. This redundancy ensures that even if one power supply unit malfunctions, the system can seamlessly switch to the backup power supply unit without interruption. As a result, critical operations can continue without disruption, minimizing downtime and potential data loss. Redundant power supplies are meticulously engineered to meet stringent reliability standards, offering peace of mind to organizations that rely on continuous operation for their business activities. Lastly, in situations where there are sudden and unexpected power interruptions, an uninterruptible power supply, or UPS, becomes an invaluable asset to ensure maximum uptime. A UPS is a device designed to provide immediate and uninterrupted emergency power to connected equipment when the main power source is lost. This seamless transition of power is especially important in IT environments, where servers are constantly processing and transmitting data. Even a momentary power disruption can lead to unsaved data being lost or systems shutting down improperly, which can cause potential damage. When there's a sudden loss of power, a UPS instantly kicks in, ensuring that there's no break in the electricity supply. This immediate response allows IT professionals the time to either switch to a longer-term power solution, like a generator, or to safely shut down systems and save critical data. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.